Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I am bringing you a knee-friendly lower body routine. So if you have knee pain or knee discomfort, this is the workout for you. Today we are focusing on toning the inner and outer thighs and our booties with no squats and no lunges and no equipment. You could add a mini band or booty band to some of these exercises if you wanted to increase the intensity but it's not totally necessary. So this workout is 16 minutes long. We have three supersets. Make sure that you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, we're first gonna start off on our backs. We're going to do some glute bridges, but you're going to bring your feet in closer to your bum and you're gonna rise up on your tippy toes. So feet together, press those hips up as high as you can, squeeze at the top and lower. Try not to spend too much time at the bottom. Your focus is squeezing at the top and holding. All right, we're gonna stay in this same position, but this time you're going to add an abduction at the top. So rising up, open, close, and lower. Hold those hips as high as you can to the ceiling as you open those legs. Good. Taking a quick 15 second rest, we're gonna flip over into a tabletop position. If being on your knees is too much, you can place a pillow underneath your knees just to give yourself a little bit more comfort. We're gonna do some donkey kicks. Two pulses, extend, in, and lower. Pulse it up, extend, hold that knee, and lower. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. Make sure you're holding that core nice and tight. We're gonna switch sides. Two pulses with an extension. Try to drive that working hip down into the floor and keep that back nice and straight. Keep that core nice and tight. So we're just using that working leg. All right, taking a quick 15 second rest, we're gonna repeat that again, starting off with our glute bridges. So coming down on our backs, I want you to focus on squeezing those inner thighs together this time. So just regular glute bridges for 30 seconds, then we'll add our abduction. Try to focus on not arching your lower back while doing these glute bridges. Adding that abduction at the top. Good. All right, flipping it over into our tabletop, getting ready for our donkey kicks. So focus on keeping that core tight and not swinging the back here. We really wanna focus on just using that working leg. Here we go, two pulses. One, two, with an extension.
take a leap in town. Everything is upside down. Oh, baby, I love you. Getting ready to switch sides. Make sure you're bringing that knee nice and high during those pulses and holding it as you extend. Good. All right. Taking a 30 second rest now in between our sets. We're moving on. We're going to stand up. So we're gonna do a single leg RDL. So choose a side, we're gonna do 30 seconds on each leg. You're gonna test your balance here. We're gonna come down, fingertips reach for the mat. You're putting all your weight in this supporting leg into that heel and squeezing that booty as you come up. We're gonna do 30 seconds each side, nice and simple. If you're struggling with your balance, I find it really helpful to one, keep my core nice and tight, but also choose a point on the ground in front of me and just keep my eyes locked on that. Good. Switching legs, here we go. Good, 15 second rest, we're coming down to the ground. More glute bridges. We're gonna do some one leg glute bridges this time. So 30 seconds on either side, nice and simple, sitting into that supporting heel. Here we go. Press those hips up. If it's helpful to you, you can lift those supporting toes so that you know that you're really sitting all that weight into that heel which means you'll really be using that glute. Good, switching legs right away. Good. Standing up, quick 15 second rest. We're gonna repeat that again, doing our single leg RDLs. If you're still finding it really hard to balance, it might be helpful to you to have some kind of a weight, whatever that may be for yourself. Could be a book or whatever you have at home. And that will help kind of counteract um, the weight and it will help you balance here a little bit more. Just really make sure that you're putting that weight into that supporting heel. Getting ready to switch legs. Really squeeze those glutes at the top. A few more seconds. Good. Coming down to the ground. 
doing our one leg glute bridges. So I want you to focus on not allowing that back to arch while being in this position, because then you're not gonna get the full effect on those glutes. So press that lower back into the ground and then press that hip up to the ceiling. Here we go, 30 seconds on each leg. Don't spend too much time at the bottom. Good, switch legs. Press those hips up, we're almost there guys. Good. All right, 30 second rest. We are going into our next superset. So we're gonna do some inner thigh leg lifts. So choose a side. We're gonna do 30 seconds each side. Coming up, tapping the toes, and then we're going to rise up and tap the toes, same thing. So sit forward on this hip so that you're really using that inner thigh. Bring it up and press it up. Here we go. Really make sure that you control yourself on the way down. Good, quickly switch into the other side. Make sure you find that position where you're really sitting forward on that hip so that you're using that inner thigh to lift the leg. We're gonna do some outer thigh work next. So we're gonna do two clamshells. Sitting on your hips, open once, hold on the top, extend this leg, lift it up. Twice, bring it in and lower. Open once, hold, extend, lift. Press those hips up and hold. You should really be feeling the burn in that supporting leg. Good, switch sides. Make sure your foot is parallel. So the top of your foot is pointing forward as you extend that leg so that you're using that outer thigh. Again, doing our inner thigh leg lifts. This is our last super set. So give it all you got. Here we go. Make sure that you're meeting that toe and those fingertips in the center. Good, switch sides.
Good. Last one, our clamshell. Again, make sure that the top of your foot is pointing forward so that you're using that outer thigh. If the top of your foot is pointing forward, you're gonna use more of your hip flexor. Here we go. Switching sides. Lift those hips up, guys. Come on, a few more seconds. Good. All right, quick 15 second rest. We're doing our burnout for the last 30 seconds. So come down on your bellies. Chest is nice and lifted. You can prop yourself up on your elbows. You're going to lift the legs and tap the heels together. 30 seconds, squeeze those booties, feel the burn. Right, guys there you have it a 16 minute lower body focus workout with no squats and no lunges let me know how you guys enjoyed this one if you'd like to see more of this style of workout please let me know in the comments down below and if you're new here make sure that you hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me and i'll see you guys very soon